One of the major employers on the Oregon coast burned down years ago, but today a celebration as the Pacific Seafood Facility reopened. Our Cor Harlan shows us from Warrington the new plant is bigger and better. This Pacific Seafood facility replaces the old facility that burned down here five years ago. It is a welcome home to Pacific Seafood here in Warrington. When this facility is up and running at full capacity, it can employ up to 250 people. These rockfish being offloaded at Pacific Seafood's facility in Warrington are soon heading for a new state-of-the-art processing facility in a brand new 78,000 square foot building next to the dock, the largest seafood processing facility in Oregon history. Pacific Seafood CEO Frank Dulcich says the state-of-the-art advancements in freezing, packaging, and bacterial safeguards that are built into this new facility will expand the reach of Pacific's product offerings. We're going to be doing a lot of consumer packaging, so the Oregon product people in Oregon, as well as nationally and internationally, will be able to get this product from this facility. In addition to rockfish, they'll process steelhead, whiting, and dungeness crab from here as well. Pacific's bread and butter business has been supplying grocery chains on the West Coast and restaurants. And for the 5,000 or so people of Warrenton, Pacific Seafood's reopening here is a homecoming of sorts for a company and the community that never lost hope for Pacific Seafood's return here. They provide high quality branded Oregon products and we've got to make sure that we take care of these processors and all of their employees and the independent boats that bring the fish in. This is a huge economic driver with lots of ripples. Pacific Seafood remains a family owned and operated company headquartered in Clackamas, employing about 3,000 people at 41 facilities in 11 western states mainly. Its success though hinges on this facility, a big new processing plant helping Oregon branded seafood products get to more places in more parts of the world. In Warrenton, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.